Hello everyone, I'm Craig Williams with your Diz Daily Fix for Thursday, May 24th, 2018. Here's what's happening today. First up, table service dining reservations during Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party are now available for booking. If you're looking to eat at Be Our Guest, Crystal Palace, or Cinderella's Royal Table during the hard ticket event between 6 and 9.30 p.m., you can now get your reservations. I don't know why you'd want to because you're already paying so much for the party and to take an hour or more away for a meal just seems bizarre, but hey, different people like different things. You can also book your Happy Hallowishes dessert party if that interests you a little bit more. Now moving on, yesterday was our first real look at the Lamplight Lounge menu besides lobster nachos, and it sounds pretty good. Lamplight Lounge, of course, will open with Pixar Pier on June 23rd in the space that occupied Cove Bar, and if you don't know where Pixar Pier is opening at, it's Disney California Adventure at the Disneyland Resort. So the new menu will feature items like potato skins, a carne asada sushi roll, spinach salad, a chicken sandwich, and a lot more, but let's be real. If you're going to Lamplight Lounge, most likely you're going for lobster nachos. Now finally, Max Cap Pass, excuse me, Max Pass can be added to a Disneyland Resort vacation package. Max Pass is the paid service that allows guests to make fast pass reservations from their smartphone along with free photo pass downloads for $10 per day per guest. So when you book a Disneyland vacation package at one of the three Disneyland hotels or one of the good neighbor hotels and add Max Pass, uh, it's just going to be that same $10 per day per person, but it's all a part of your vacation package. It's a nice added convenience, mostly, and if you're looking uh, to book a vacation package through a travel agency like Dreams Unlimited Travel, of course, our recommendation if you're looking to book a Disneyland vacation, uh, just make sure you let your agent know that you're interested in uh, in Max Pass because I think it's an amazing tool to help get the most out of your day at Disneyland, especially when it is an insanely crowded day, which happens quite a bit there. Moving over to the Diz, though, uh, today's featured article comes from Michelle Maloney, and Michelle talks about the five reasons why you should stay at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. I'm guessing one of them has to do with its location, but I didn't read that article, so I'm not going to pretend like I did. But for this article and many others, head over to WDWinfo.com. Now, trending on the boards today is a thread entitled Best Place for Taking a Break in Each Park that was started by poster Anana Tukali on the Theme Parks, Attractions, and Strategies Forum. Posters are joining in to share their most favorite places to take a breather inside each of the Walt Disney World theme parks, such as Tom Sawyer's Island in the Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney Presents inside Disney's Hollywood Studios. What's your favorite? Well, stop over by disboards.com and join in on that discussion to share your favorites. Now it's Thursday, so today on the Diz Unplugged you can expect the latest episode of the Universal Edition podcast, and in this show, Rhino and I will be discussing the announcement of Trick or Treat as a Halloween Horror Nights house, and that's basically it because there hasn't been a lot of Universal news, so uh, look for it later at youtube.com slash disunplugged. Now to wrap things up with the weather, uh, in Anaheim today it's apparently foggy according to Google and tomorrow it should be mostly sunny but both days should be right around 71 with lows in the upper 50s. Here in Orlando, a chance of rain today is less likely as the day goes on, but tomorrow should be the beginning of a long rainy weekend, unfortunately. The high today is a sweltering 89 degrees, and then tomorrow it's going to drop to 81, but lows are still going to stay in those low 70s for us. For links to more information on everything discussed in today's Diz Daily Fix, please visit the Daily Fix main page at wdwinfo.com slash daily fix. That's doing it for me. That's, whoa, messed up there right at the end. That's going to do it for me today. We'll be back with you tomorrow for the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix. Have a great day, everyone.